It's Scott from Water Review. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experiences with the Whoop uh, 4.0 band as well as the 3.0 band that I have. Uh, I've had this for over two years now. I'll get in the nitty gritty of is this thing actually worth it and who should buy it? So does the Whoop band actually work? So if I found the Whoop band to be incredibly precise, especially for sleep tracking as well as improving my performance in my CrossFit workouts. So I've improved dramatically over the last two years uh, using my Whoop to kind of guide me uh, when I can push a workout and when I need to take a rest day. So is Whoop worth the money? So Whoop costs uh, $30 a month and you have to do Whoop for about 12 months as a minimum because they give you the device for free so they require that commitment. Now what I would recommend is paying it for, for a few months and if you're liking it, uh, go ahead and, and buy one of the annual memberships because you'll save quite a bit of, of money over the lifetime of the device. Is the Whoop 4.0 worth it? You know, I don't find the 4.0 to be a huge improvement over uh, the 3.0 band. Uh, you do get oxygen level, levels and skin temperature in the 4.0, but I, I found the 4 is actually, um, it feels a little thicker. And if you look at it, it's a, it's a little bit thicker than the, the 3. The 3 is definitely longer. Um, so as a, as a whole, it's smaller, but uh, I find it kind of catches more often on my sleeves. And also I think the battery life is uh, in real world usage, I get about a day less out of the four. So I really like the four, but I actually like the three better. Uh, they're both great. So is Whoop accurate for recovery? So I find Whoop's recovery score incredibly accurate in predicting how I'm gonna feel in a workout. So if I have a score down in the fifties, you know, I'll, I'll probably still work out, but I know I'm not gonna have that next level. Now, if I'm up in the 80s, the 70s, the 97, I know I can really push in my workout and feel like I'm gonna be able to hit that next level. And for me, it really helps me mentally know uh, when I can push and when my heart is really rested and you know ready to take on a lot of strain. So I find it very accurate for, for measuring uh, how recovered I am. And uh, if I see anything green, I know that I'm gonna be able to push it. Now this day here, I drank a little bit, than, you know, too much the night before. So you can see the recovery low was, recovery score was much lower. Is there anything better than a Whoop? Uh, you know, I use Whoop and Apple Watch together. I think they both have pros and cons, and that's why I like having both of them. Uh, if I just had to pick one, you know, probably go with the Apple Watch, but I really like my Whoop. So, um, especially if you're a CrossFit athlete, it's so useful for, for me to know when I can push a workout. So what is the recovery percentage on WHOOP? So the recovery percentage takes into account your HRV, which is your heart rate variance, takes into account your resting heart rate, and your respiratory rate, and your sleep performance. So basically how much sleep you got versus how much you actually needed. Now, the WHOOP 4.0 also includes your blood oxygen level, as well as your skin temperature too. So if you have a 4.0 device, it'll take into account your blood oxygen uh, level and your skin temperature as well. So is Whoop better than Apple Watch? Oh my gosh, it's like choosing between your, your two children or something. I really love them both. I think, you know, for day-to-day -day stuff, the Apple Watch is great. You know, if I just had to pick one for performance, I would choose the Whoop, especially if you're doing a lot of CrossFit workouts. It really helps me know when I need to take a rest day and when I can really push it. So the average uh, WHOOP recovery, according to the company, across all members is 58%. My average is usually kind of in the mid to high 60s, and I actually had an average of 72% in July of last month, and then 63%. And uh, you can see that in the WHOOP app here. Uh, we can look at, if I want to get to my monthly performance assessment for July, we can see my average recovery score of 72% in July, 63 in June, 62%. So I'm pretty good about getting quite a bit of sleep. Um, so I think my average recovery score is a little higher than, than the average base. So are the Whoop straps worth it? I, I have a couple of straps. I like having at least two. I have this nice blue one on my four. I've got another four strap here and an older black one on my three. And you know, they're not super expensive. They're kind of fun to be able to change it up. So I do, I do think it's uh, worth it. And I, I really like my Whoop straps. So can I wear my Whoop four in the shower? Absolutely. I wear mine in the shower every day. Uh, these things are completely waterproof. The only thing you might want to keep an eye on is the battery pack. Now the 4.0 battery pack actually is waterproof, uh, so says the company. I still tend to take it off. I don't know, I just, I think it's a habit. The 3.0 uh, battery pack is not waterproof, 
So I think just as habit, I always take it off, but technically you can wear the, the new 4.0 battery pack in the shower as well. And you definitely can wear the band, uh, either the three or the four in the shower, uh, no problem. So does Whoop work without a membership? It does not. If you stop paying the $30 a month or the prepay runs out, uh, your device will stop sending data to the app, which is where you get all the data because look, there's no screen. So you do need to uh, continue paying your membership. Otherwise the device is basically a brick. You might wonder why is my recovery score so low? So for me, my recovery score plummets if I drink alcohol or if I eat too much close to bedtime. And you can start to figure out what impacts your recovery score by using the journal feature in the Whoop app. So it'll ask you every morning, uh, hey, did you drink enough water? Did you have caffeine? How late did you eat? And if you fill that data in, if you fill enough of it in, uh, they'll look at the whole data over the month and be able to tell you, hey, statistically, these things are impacting your recovery scores. So I like filling that journal out. Um, at least I did for quite a while. I don't do it as much anymore because I kind of know what impacts my recovery score now, but I found it really useful to, to really understand how alcohol impacted my, my recovery score as well as eating uh, too late in the day. Is Whoop for the average person? I would say no. I don't think it's for the average person. I really think it's for a CrossFit athlete or an advanced athlete that really wants to try to improve their level of fitness. If you're just fine getting by and you just need a sleep tracker, Whoop's probably not the best fit for you. But if you wanna know when do I need to take a recovery day, when can I really push a workout, it really helps me figure those two things out. So how do you get a higher recovery score in Whoop? So if you go into your monthly performance assessment, if you record your journal entries, so the journal will ask you, you know, how much water did you drink? Um, did you have a late meal? Uh, did you get enough sleep? So for me, um, hydration doesn't have a big impact. Strain has a negative impact. But all these uh, meditation, alcohol, I didn't have enough data on these points these points for this month. But if you fill out the journal and, and record those, it'll actually start to show you statistically uh, how things impact you. So for me. You know my sleep performance really impacts uh, how, how my recovery goes which which makes a lot of sense right um, but I really like this monthly performance assessment for me uh, eating late is a big uh, factor as well as alcohol so those two things for me will really drop my recovery percentage so does your recovery uh, affect your strain on whoop so your recovery doesn't actually impact your strain your strain is generated by heart uh, exertion, right? So you go for a walk, that's going to be some strain. You go for a workout, that's going to be more strain on your heart. You go for a, uh, a long run, that's going to be a lot of strain on your heart, right? Um, so that might impact your recovery. Um, I've not found, at least in the data, that, that my strain actually does impact my recovery really at all. But your recovery can't impact your strain. Uh, your strain is only from exertion. So how much you work your heart, right? Not how much you rest it and recover it. So your strain uh, is impacted, can be impacted by your recovery, but your recovery is not gonna impact your strain. Only working out and like using your heart muscle real, real good, that's gonna impact your strain levels. Okay, so can Whoop detect heart issues? So the Whoop will measure your heart rate variance, uh, your resting heart rate, as well as your heart rate during a workout. And so when we look at our recovery scores here, you can see my HRV, heart rate variance and my resting heart rate so it, it's not an EKG device like like a, like an Apple watch uh, has the built-in EKG uh, so it's not gonna you know alert you if you have an abnormal heart rhythm or anything but it can give you some nice statistics about how your heart is doing I, I particularly like the HRV value for me that really correlates with how hard I can push a workout if my HRV number is like 73 like it was yesterday, I knew I could push that workout that I did pretty hard and I, I felt like I had that next level. Now when it's down in the 50s, for me, uh, you know, I might need to take a day off or a rest. Um, in this case, I actually had COVID, so it wasn't feeling super good, but started to feel pretty good the last couple days. So uh, it can uh, show you some uh, stats about your heart. 